I'd like to tell you a story in hopes that you might take away some something from my experience and you could use it to your own benefit in your own life. I would start with uh, probably 2010, 2011, somewhere around there. I was in middle school, elementary school, middle school. Uh, back then, I was pretty social. Not the most social butterfly, but I was pretty outgoing and I would go around to the neighborhood kids in my town and I would hang out with them after school. And then during the summertime, during summer break, I would always go over there. I would try to go over and hang out with them every single day. Um, one of the kids in particular, he was kind of spoiled. Uh, his parents were divorced and, and his mom uh, lived by herself with her kids. And I guess the dad was kind of in and out. He would come to visit every now and then and pay for stuff. But from what I understood, the mom didn't really have a job and the dad just paid for everything. So he was just, he was one of those rich kids. And uh, he had a couple siblings, and his older brother had an Xbox. Well, one of the days that I was over there hanging out, the older brother was playing on his Xbox, and he was playing Call of Duty 4. And back then, this was like right around when Call of Duty 4 first came out. It was still like a new game. Um, maybe not, actually. I don't even remember. It was so, <laughs> so long ago. It's kind of hard for me to remember the dates and everything, but this is what I remember. He had the the headset mic, you know, the one that had like one earphone on the right side of your head and it would, you know, it was this really rough plastic, you know, headband thing and it had a microphone and you'd plug the microphone into your Xbox controller. It was like the, the stock microphone that came with every Xbox 360. Um, he was on there talking to people on the headset. He was like cursing them out, talking trash to them. Um, talking trash to people on his team, on the enemy team. And uh, I just thought it was hilarious. I was like, dude, I I want to do that. So I basically begged my parents to buy me an Xbox for two Christmases straight. They finally got me one with a 12 year or a 12 month Xbox Live Pass. And I got on there. I got Call of Duty 4 on it. I was like super excited. The best day. It's the best day ever. You know, like I had the I had the Wii and I played Guitar Hero before that. That was pretty much the extent of my gaming career up until that point. And this was like a huge jump, was playing online multiplayer. The, the fact you could play with other people around the world online and talk to them, people that you've never met before, that was crazy to me. And so I was telling my parents about this and they finally got it for me. Um, and then I just like became addicted to playing Call of Duty. And that was the only thing I wanted to do was just only play Call of Duty. So I, I'm only playing Call of Duty every day. I'm grinding. I'm like, I'm, I need to get these gold camos. Like I would sit there. I would try to skip school to get gold camos. I would go into the 1v1s because um, back on Call of Duty 4, you could do a like a, a online 1v1 game and it actually counted towards your progress. I, I don't think they have anything like that nowadays. If you want to do a 1v1, you have to do a private match. But um, that's what I would do. And I was just addicted to it. And it was the most fun I've ever had <laughs> as a kid. And I really, you know, I, I played Call of Duty 4 all the way up until middle school. And then my buddy in sixth grade told me about 1042. And I was like, oh my God, I got it. I didn't even know that game existed. And so I got Modern Warfare 2. My dad took me to the store to get it. And then I just only played Modern Warfare 2 after that. And, um, one of the kids from my school I started hanging out with, uh, like going over to his house and we would play, we'd take turns playing Modern Warfare 2 and we would try to do trick shots and all that. Um, and I just got addicted to it. Every Call of Duty, all the way up until probably junior, senior year of high school, um, my brother had a PC and that's when I, you know, I wanted, I was like, I want to try out PC games because I played Minecraft probably the first time I played Minecraft was during the alpha um, back in like 2009, 2010 on a little, you know, my dad's little laptop. Um, but it, you know, there wasn't a whole lot you could do back then. You just break blocks and play some. It wasn't like it is now. 
and uh, you know i got my brother uh let me use his computer every now and then and i would play minecraft on it and i was like you know what i really i want to get a computer and I, I mean it's about the cost of a an xbox um back then it was like you know 500 bucks could get you a decent gaming computer um and so i started saving up i got a job working at a, a restaurant as a host and when i got the job i realized oh my god all this time i spent playing games i basically you know was in my own little bubble ignoring the world and everybody in it and only caring about call of duty i don't know how to talk to anybody i'm actually like i'm terrible at socializing and this job made me realize i need to learn how to talk to people because i didn't know how to socialize and i i mean i didn't even realize that it was an issue until i was forced into it and i was forced to have to interact with people on a daily basis so that was really like a turning point for me was realizing holy crap i'm i just like my mind was blown and i didn't realize how nervous it was uh how nervous it made me and how 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 much anxiety it gave me just talking to people because up until when i got my xbox i you know i didn't have any problem hanging out with the kids in my neighborhood i was kind of shy when it came to adults but i think every kid is for the most part um but i really was like you know terrible at talking to people up until high school um so this job like kind of thrust me into this you know this new journey um and I had to get good at talking to people. Um, I, I tried to stop playing video games and focus more on like hanging out with friends from high school. Um, you know, this is around my graduation date too. So I was like, wow, I wasted my entire, you know, middle school and high school years just playing Xbox when I could have been hanging out and making friends. And, you know, while it didn't really matter that much because everyone knows once you graduate high school nothing in high school ever really matters like friends that you make in high school the 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 popular kids they all don't matter after high school like you're not going to be friends with them you maybe will hang on to one or two friends in high school for the rest of your life and probably not even one of those people are going to be around in 10 plus years after you graduate so realistically it didn't really matter but it was really a big eye-opener that I was like wow I can't actually interact with people so um you know probably about a half a year to a year after working this job uh I got enough confidence in myself just being around people to go to the gym which was another huge eye-opener to me because I was like the first time I went to the gym I'm like looking around thinking everyone's staring at me when really no one really cares I mean Every time I go to the gym now, it's like, whatever. It's just another day at the office, kind of. But at the time, you know, it's it, you you make things so much larger in your mind than they actually are. And in the grand scheme of things, most of the things that you think about do not matter. People's opinions of you don't matter. And even if they were thinking about you or, you know, making fun of you with their friends or even in their head, why why does it matter? It, it really doesn't their opinions mean nothing to you. And if someone's going to make fun of you for, you know, trying to go out of your way to learn something new to, to better yourself, then it's really, it's really the joke is on them because you are actually doing something to improve your life and they are miserable with their life. And so instead of doing something to improve their life, they feel like they need to make fun of you and put you down. They want to bring you to their level because they don't actually have anything going on. And that's really what that line of thinking. And I only really learned that by getting older and going to the gym and interacting with more people that you have to try new things. You have to put yourself out there and take some risk and be prepared to fail because trying something new is is gonna, you're gonna you're gonna fail if you're not failing you're not you're not improving you're not growing you're not learning so honestly put yourself out there try something new and build your confidence 
building confidence is a lot like crafting in Minecraft. You you try something, like if you're building a, a, a base, for example, you place some blocks down. You try to, you know, see how it looks. Oh, you don't like how that looks? Okay, so break some blocks. Replace it with a different, um, I don't know, replace that stone, that cobblestone with maybe smooth stone or maybe stone bricks, maybe wood. I, I'm not, I don't know. I'm just yapping at this point, honestly, but you get what I'm saying. Um, it's, it's a process and you really have to put yourself out there and, and don't be afraid to fail. Get, get somebody that you, maybe a family member that you can go to the gym with. That's what I did. I didn't, I didn't want to hang out with anybody from school when I went to the gym. I invited my dad. My dad is the one that took me to the gym for years. And, uh, really, if, if it weren't for him, I wouldn't have, I probably never would have gone to the gym. So find a friend, find, find a family member, someone that you can go to the gym with, or do just do something that you want to do that you want to try to help improve your, your confidence. And, you know, it's okay to step away from gaming for a while. If you feel like you're stuck, if you feel like you're not going anywhere in life, it's okay to play games, but you gotta, you gotta get out of the house at some point. I know people like to make fun about, you know, touching grass. Oh, you need to go touch grass. But I mean, it's, re it's a, it's a real, it's a real thing. You, if you get stuck playing games and that's all you want to do, you're really missing out on a lot of different aspects of life. And there's so many other things that you could be doing with your life besides playing video games. Yes, I love playing video games. I still play video games almost every single day, but I also make time for friends, for family and for the gym. And that's another very big part of your life, just as games are also a big part of your life. And I'm sure they are if you're watching this video. So if there's anything you take away from this video or this story is that you should try something new. Whatever that thing is that you've been wanting to try, but you've been, you know, doubting, scared, nervous, worried about what other people think, just do it. Just step out and do it. Make sign, pick a pick a day, pick a time. Tell yourself you're gonna do it on that day, on that time, and tell a friend or a family member that you're going to do it, so that they can hold hold you accountable. Because if you just you know don't tell anybody and say you're gonna do something, you might not do it. But if you have somebody else to hold you accountable, then you know you're more inclined to do it, and even more inclined if you invite that person to come with you. Because then you have somebody that is going to go with you that'll help you feel more comfortable. You're going to be more confident and going and you're not going to feel like you're alone. And that's really the biggest thing is just do something that's not going to make you feel like you're alone. Because I know when I was stuck in my rut playing video games nonstop, I felt alone and I isolated myself and I missed out on a lot of things in high school. But that's just a part of my journey and hopefully you can take something away from this and use it as a part of your journey to grow and to be better than you were the day before thank you for watching until next time keep building your dreams one block at a time